Hello, in this example we're going to look at an application related to archaeology and seriation. In this example we have four graves numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. In each of the graves we have one of three different types of pottery. The pottery are denoted with A, B, and C. So to encode this information we could use a matrix. Our matrix would look like this. In the columns we have pottery types A, B, and C and in the rows we have our graves 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in grave 1 we have pottery types A and C and grave 2 we have pottery type A in grave 3 we only have pottery types B and C and in grave 4 we have pottery type B. Now once we have a matrix set up in this fashion, we can also look at a transpose. A transpose would look like the following. And this matrix has in the rows, it has pottery in the rows, and graves in the columns. Now what's amazing is that um, if we look at A times A transpose, and let's do that if we look at A times A transpose, this gives us what's called a graves matrix. And so what it tells us is it tells us um, in this upper triangular region of the graph, everything above the main diagonal, this tells us that in row 1 column 2, let's write that down, this tells us when G row 1 column 2, that tells us that's a 1, this means that grave 1 and grave 2 have a pottery type in common. Okay. Similarly, there's a 1 in the first row third column, so that's uh, first row third column equals 1. This means that grave 1 and grave 3 have a pottery type in common. And similarly, um, this grave 3 row 4 means that G3 and G4 have pottery in common. And so if we map that out, what this says is that, okay, if grave 1 and grave 2 have something in common, let's write those here. Here's grave 1 and here's grave 2. And then we also have that grave 1 and grave 3 have something in common, so we better put grave 3 over here. And similarly, grave 3 and grave 4 have something in common, so we need to connect grave 3 to grade 4 representing that they have something in common. And so what this gives us is this gives us an order, uh, a chronological order for the graves and it's either that this grave 4 is the earliest or grave 2 is the earliest 